Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students if you are new to my channel then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever I push up a new video. So now students today I am going to show you how to do long division of polynomials meaning how to divide two polynomials. So let's take for example x square plus 15x plus 70 and you have to divide it by x plus 10. Okay students in my teaching career I have found that most of the students make lot of mistakes in this long division method. So today I'm going to show you step by step how to do this long division so that you don't go wrong ever in doing these kind of problems. Okay. So now here we will start with writing the numerator as the dividend and then the denominator as your divisor. Students, before beginning with this division, I would like to tell you all that since my numerator and denominator had nothing in common, that is why I directly went and started the division. But there might be scenarios when you might have something common or you can factorize your numerator in such a way that some things get cancelled from the numerator and the denominator. So if that is the case then I would request all of you all to first check that and then do it because once you cancel things then the division becomes much easier because your entire fraction reduces and as we all know it is much easier to calculate smaller things than larger things in maths okay so here now we have the dividend which has x square plus 15x plus 70 and that has to be divided by x plus 10 so the first and very golden rule of long division is that your quotient your quotient over here should be such that your this your very first variable should be matching should be matched by the divisor so here since i have x square and here i have x so i'm going to multiply the entire divisor by x okay so that i get x square over here so when i multiply x with x you get x square and when i multiply x with 10 i get plus 10 x now the next step is very important you need to sub this okay so when you subtract this the negative sign replaces all the signs which are of the number which are mentioned over here okay so here you get instead of x square it becomes negative x square and instead of plus 10x it becomes minus 10x so x square minus x square is cancelled and 15x minus 10x you get 5x plus 70 now over here I need I need 5x so I will multiply this x by 5 so I will write plus 5 so I have 5x because I multiplied 5 with x then I am multiplying 5 with 10 so plus 50 again we are going to subtract so the signs are going to change so 5x minus 5x gets cancelled and 70 minus 50 gets you 20. So in this way you can do the long division of this particular fraction of polynomials. Okay. And, and students here I can't divide it further because what I have over here is x and here I want 20. So I can't make this x as 20. Okay. So my I will leave my division over here with a remainder of 20. Okay. Now students, let's try solving another polynomial. So we have 3x cube plus 10x square minus 14x plus 9 which is to be divided by 3x minus 2. And as we can see there is nothing common between the two 
between the numerator and the denominator so we will directly start by the division okay another student another thing student you need to remember is that while writing the dividend and the divisor you need to ensure that the value that the degrees of x go from descending to ascending means the highest degree is first written then the second highest then the third highest and then so on okay so here since my numerator is already in order i'll just write it the same way so 3x cube plus 10x square minus 14x plus 9 and here i have 3x minus 2 now as we can see the first number over here is 3x cube so i need to make this 3x as 3x cube so i'll multiply with with what x square okay so when i multiply 3x with x square i get 3x cube minus 2 multiplied by x square i get minus 2x square so this sign is changed because here it was positive so i've changed it to negative and since here it was negative i'm changing it to positive so 3x cube minus 3x cube is cancelled and 10x square plus 2x square gets you 12x square minus 14x plus 9 students all these numbers have to directly go down okay now your next job is to make this 3x in terms of 12x square so i'm going to multiply 3x with plus 4x so when i multiply 3x with 4x i get 12x square and 4x when multiplied by negative 2 i get minus 8x this sign changes to negative this sign changes to positive so now this gets cancelled and 14x minus 8 sorry 14 minus 14x plus 8x gets you minus 6x plus 9 and since i have a plus 3x over here and i want a negative 6x so i'll just multiply it with what negative 2 so negative 2 multiplied by 3x gets you minus 6x minus 2 into minus 2 gets you plus 4 so this changes to plus this changes to negative so minus 6 plus 6x gets you 0 and 9 minus 4 gets you 5 so here as you see that this is the division of this particular polynomial students as many of you all might be knowing that at the end of this video i will also put up a question whose answer you will mention in the comment section so don't forget to go ahead and solve that question and once you write down your answers i will let you know whether they are right or wrong in case they are wrong you don't need to worry i will also give you the explanation for the same okay now let's do another long division here i have negative 2x square plus 2x cube minus 11x plus 2 divided by 2 plus x so here as we can see nothing is common we can directly start with the division but here we can see that the highest degree is not mentioned first so first we will arrange this entire dividend from a set from descending point so here you will arrange the entire dividend in such a way that it's it is in the descending form of the powers of x so i'll write 2x cube first minus 2x square later minus 11x plus 2 and here also i can see 2 is written ahead and x is written later so i'm going to write it x plus 2 okay now i need to convert this x in the form of 2x cube so i'll multiply it by 2x square so this when multiplied with x i get 2x cube 2x square multiplied by 4 2 gets you 4x square signs are changed so this gets cancelled minus 2x square minus 4x square minus 6x square minus 11x plus 2 so this x has to be converted in terms of minus 6x square so i'm going to multiply it with what minus 6x so i get minus 6x square because this multiplied by x okay and minus 6 multiplied by 2 i get minus 12x plus sorry okay so these signs are now changed so this is cancelled minus 11x plus 12x gets you just x plus 
2. Now, here you can see that here you have x and here also you have x. So, I'm just going to multiply it with 1. So, I'll take x down and 1 multiplied by 2 I get plus 2. Negative, negative. So, here you will see that my remainder is 0. Okay. So, students, in this way you saw how you can do the division of two polynomials using the long division method. Students, in this step, in this particular method, you don't need to worry too much. All you need to remember is that first, if some things are getting cancelled in the entire fraction, please do so. Then, arrange the dividend as well as the divisor in descending powers of x. And the next important golden rule is always take your quotient in such a way that this particular numbers are completely cancelled. Okay. So students, if you really like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in making these kind of videos. Now students, as promised, here is the question whose answer you will mention in the comment section. So x raised to 4 plus 3x square plus 2x square plus x plus 4 is divided by x plus 1. Okay. So students that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.